Hi everyone, Greg here. Well, today I have come to one of Australia's favourite Mexican joints. Well, I don't know if it is really, I just said that. But it is an Australian Mexican place called Mad Mex. Now, they've got stores right around the country. And I thought I'd come here today because I got a two for one burrito voucher. So I thought I'd buy a burrito, see what a Mad Mex tastes like. Let's see what Australian Mexican food is like. Let's go. Well, here we go. Here's the Mad Mex feast that I got. Today I got a burrito here, and there was also an open burrito. I thought I'd pick that up as well. So with that voucher, both of these came to $11.50. So I'm guessing it's $11.50 each. Uh, I've got the extra spicy on this one, and this one I got the mild, just to try two different things. So let's have a look and see what you get in the bowl here. Alrighty, okay. So I got some black beans, ooh yum. The rice, that must be the hot chili paste or sauce or salsa or whatever, yummo. We got the beef here, that looks nice, pulled beef with the sour cream, some tomatoes and lettuce and cheese in there, oh mate! Oh, 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 that looks good! Should I open the other one first or tuck into this one? Mm. How about we open the other one first? <laughs> so we can get a good idea of what it's like. I'm sort of guessing it's gonna be just like that one except wrapped up in a tortilla shell. Well, I mean, it's pretty good size. I mean, there's my hand right there, so. You know, it's a good hand size. Weighs a ton. Look, I'm not even gonna open it up because I know that's what's inside it. Right, yeah, let's give this a whirl. Mmm! Mm. Man, that's juicy. Mm. That first bite, all I got was a lot of juice, a lot of rice, a bit of cheese, but I still haven't tasted any meat yet. Got a few beans there. Let's see until I get to the meat. I'm gonna learn to take smaller bites. Well, having a few bites of this, uh, I'm not really getting any Mexican sort of flavors. Yes, it's got the black beans on it and the rice, but they are both pretty bland. And also the meat, you'd sort of expect it to have that real Mexican-y, cumin-y flavor with that, like that seasoning running through it. Mate, I'm not getting any of that. Like to me, it's like a pretty average, like boring tasting, burrito i mean i know i haven't had a lot of burritos in my life but i know that this is pretty average if i was going out and eating something from somewhere i would want it to have so much flavor i want it to be packed full of flavor this isn't doing it for me it's sort of bland and boring and Mate, it's not offering me any satisfaction. When I'm eating out, I want a reason to go there. I want a wow factor. And well, this just doesn't have it. So, how about we just have a look at the bowl. Let's try some rice on its own. Tastes like it's cooked in some sort of stock, but very mild in flavor. Let's try the beans. Wow. They just sort of taste like one's out of a tin. <laughs> well, I'm so mean, aren't I? What about this salad with like some cheese and tomato with a sour cream? Mm. 
I like that runny sour cream they use. Oh, hang on. That's right. There's chunks of beef in this too. Mm. Well, the beef in this is the same that's on my burrito, but you can really taste it a lot more. I like it. Mm. In the bowl here, I got the extra spice. So let's do a bit of a see at just how extra spicy it is. Oh yeah, now it's hitting my tongue. Took a while, but oh, it's getting there. The thing I found out with that burrito is I got the medium spice. Hardly had any spice on it. Uh, this hot spice here is spicy, but it's sort of like what I might expect the medium to be. So it might be a little bit toned down, or maybe I'm just a little bit too hardcore for Australian tastes. That's got nothing on me. Well, instead of a score out of 10 today, I've got the Mad Max card here, and on the back it's got some customer ratings. Let's see what I'd give it. Right, customer service. Well, I thought it was really good. She was right on to it, she was switched on the girl. Five out of five. Ordering process. Well, that was pretty simple. She explained it out really well to me. Also a five out of five. Taste and flavor. Oh, well. Gee, I'm not too sure about that. The uh, taste was a little bit bland. The flavor sort of wasn't there. I was expecting something real Mexican. I was expecting to be screaming out, andale, andale, andale. But I'm not. I thought it was a little bit bland, a little bit flavorless. I don't think Australians know how to do Mexican. And, and if this is Mexican food, then <laughs> I don't know what all the fuss is about. Three out of five. And the atmosphere. The atmosphere in there was really good. In fact, we would have been eating in there, except I needed somewhere quieter uh, so I could actually do this review. So, five out of five for that. So for an all over score out of 20, mate, I was given that a five, 10, 15, and three, 18 out of 20. That's nine out of 10. <laughs> Doesn't deserve a nine though. Will we be seeing you again? Well, certainly I printed off a couple of vouchers. <laughs> yes, you will. One thing they do have though, is great cutlery. Oh, yeah, top quality, I'm taking that home. Forget Ikea, just come to Mad Max, get yourself some spoons, knives and forks, they're good. Anyway, have you been to Mad Max? Is it good Mexican food? Do you reckon it tastes good? I reckon it's all right, but I don't think it's great. And I, I'm sure they can lift their game. So what's my recommendation? Well, I'll tell you what, if you got a two for one voucher, mate, I'd highly recommend it. Paying full price though, you know what I reckon Gazmini Gomez is better. So I'd be heading there. Anyway, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time for my next review. Bye y'all! Oh yeah, this is Greg's kitchen where the reviews are finger.